One year ago today, Austin police lost one of their own. Today, officers remembering the life and legacy of Officer Jaime Pedron, the former Marine and father of two young girls gunned down in a North Austin Walmart by a man suspected of shoplifting. The North Austin police station where he worked now bears his name. Aaron Cargill has the story. A somber and celebratory Saturday morning, fallen officer Jaime Padron now has a permanent place at his North Austin substation, a place officers call Jaime's house. His mother brought to tears as she touches a smiling photo hanging by the front doors, a reminder of the son who led by example. We got to love, live like he did, and, and, and respect people and, and, and be the better person you can be. Today's trip to Austin, much different than one year ago. We were extremely heartbroken and, and angry. Uh, and to me, it was, it was, the world is a bad place to be. The outpouring of love that continues to this day has been a light in the darkness. It's an experience we never wanted to have. But God works in mysterious ways. The Padron family also getting their first look at a living memorial built behind the station. It was a vision, and that's when I told Jaime, I'm going to build you a perpetual garden, a garden that will last forever. And I just got a smile from him. And several San Angelo police officers making the 200-mile drive to honor him, too. When's the next time that your extremely close friend is going to have... Uh, have a police department, police department substation named after him. I hope never. Uh, this is just one of those moments you can't pass up. Sergeant Matthew Baldwin worked alongside Padron for 14 years and is taking home this gift from the Austin Police Department. Medals, ribbons, and replica badges. A daily reminder of the ultimate sacrifice. In North Austin, Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. As soon as the Austin ceremony was over, the Padron family jumped in the car and drove to San Angelo for a memorial service that's going on right now. Padron worked in San Angelo for 14 years before joining APD. One unique tribute to Padron has an online social connection. Members of the community, including Austin police officers and KXAN, posting this cover photo on their Facebook page featuring a photo of Officer Padron as well as medals, his patches, and badges. Meantime, the man accused in that shooting still awaiting trial. Prosecutors want the death penalty for Brandon Daniel. Police say Daniel had been drinking heavily and was under the influence of Xanax that night last April. Officers were trying to arrest him for disorderly conduct when he shot Padron in the neck. Daniel will appear in court April 26th for a pretrial hearing. His trial is expected to start this fall.